Hey guys, Jake Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2023. Four years strong on the lineup. The guys join me now. How are you, gentlemen? Very good. good. Yeah. Excited to be here. Yeah, good to see you guys back in the UK, first of all. And like, again, for Slam Dunk, a massive festival moment always. Great way to start off the summer. Loads of your friends and stuff on the lineup. I'm sure it's always going to be a good reception for you guys because this is this is where the fans live, right? This is their festival, guys. Oh, absolutely. I, I guess. Yeah, Slam Dunk has always been like one of our favorite festivals in the world to play. Like we've always just gotten a great reception. All of our fans love coming to this festival. Plus, like you said, we've got tons of friends walking around all day, having conversations. It's just the best. It always, it kind of, I feel like it started out feeling like, like the UK's version of the Warp Tour. Like it was all just like, that's that, that small scene that we're all part of. And, but it's grown to this crazy big thing and it's been awesome to see over the years. So we're psyched to be here. Yeah, I see it develop. How was yesterday, by the way? Hatfield, nice reception, all that kind of good stuff? Yeah, yeah. It, it was yesterday yeah. was great. Show was fantastic. Um, weather was great. Surprisingly sunny. It's usually not like that in the UK when we come here, yeah. but today is more gray. <laughs> a little bit more expected weather. A little bit more expected. Exactly that. Well, I wanted to catch up because I guess the last time we kind of caught up you guys properly was around Brain Pain and the album and all that kind of stuff. And it's it's funny, isn't it? Because we had a, a little stop of the world in between there. So it sort of almost feels like still kind of living in that era. I suppose you just must be still kind of getting used to playing some of those songs live and everything because inevitably shows kind of stopped. You're kind of still living in that a little bit. Yeah, well, we played Brain Pain songs for the first time in the UK yesterday. Wow. First, yeah, and it went over awesome. Everybody everybody did their part. They sang the words. It was great. It was perfect. Everybody did their part. Has anything surprised you about that, actually? Because I guess it's it's that unusual thing, isn't it, where people got to live with that record at an unusual time. They weren't seeing it live on stage in the minute. They had a minute to kind of sit with it. How's it been then playing maybe even some of the, like, not are you playing, like, non-singles and stuff on that record and stuff? Yeah, how's that kind of been, the reaction-wise? It's It's been awesome. I mean, every time that we play a new, uh, it's not new anymore, but I still call it new because, you know, um, but yeah, anytime we play any of the songs off of that record, it's always just surprising how many people have embraced even just the back half of that record and gotten super stoked on it. And yeah, it's been awesome. I was a, I was a little worried the whole time that because people were listening to it through COVID and not being able to experience it like normal, that they were going to grow to hate it because it reminded them of such a horrible time. <laughs> but it's been going pretty well. Hey, it's been going pretty well. Well, it leads on very nicely to what is kind of next because this is the interesting thing with you guys. It does almost feel like playing them for the first time. You could still be in that last album era, but I'm sure you guys have been working hard and thinking about what might be coming next. I know obviously there were the re-recordings and all that kind of stuff, but like in terms of new, new music, what kind of stage are we at in terms of another full-length record for you guys? We're, we're pretty deep into it. We were just in the studio for a couple months before coming here, um, and it's not quite done yet, but... Yeah, the plan is to wrap it up when we get home from this, and uh, yeah, ha everything should be wrapped up sometime this summer. So, ah, yeah, that's really exciting to hear. Is it like kind of similar crew you guys working with production wise and all that kind of stuff? Just yeah, same yeah. We did it with the same producer who did Brain Pain, Will Putney. Yep. Um, he's, so great. he's great. Yeah, and it's relatively close to home, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's it, working with him has always been awesome because we've. We've known him for so long. He he assistant engineered on Enemy of the World and explains it all. And like we've just known him for so long that it's such a comfortable writing and recording place. It's just awesome. Yeah, so so good to see. And a big year planned ahead for you guys because you're on uh, one of the many names on that absolutely ridiculous looking Fallout Boy run <laughs> later in the year. I mean, my God, like stacked lineup at every single day of that. But that's got to be super cool because obviously they're so ingrained in the scene anyway but particularly on that latest record having you guys open up for a show like that it makes perfect sense i totally see that's got to be an exciting one to be a part of right oh it's it's incredible the fact that we get to play fenway park being guys from massachusetts is is incredible like the way my parents eyes lit up when i told them i was playing fenway park was was pretty awesome oh that's yeah. a nice little yeah. homecoming type show i guess so like friends and family coming around that kind of yeah, I think they're only giving us 10 guest list spots, yeah. though, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, you're going to get all your high school buddies be like, come on. Gonna buy tickets. You yeah, know, go buy tickets. <laughs> Send them a ticket link. Yeah. It's fine. Want to mention as well, we're going back a little bit here, but obviously um, since the last time we saw you guys, teaming up with State Champs as well on that track, which was so, so great on the last record. Yeah, I mean, like, it was nice. Again, I love the fact that they played with quite a few different collabs that kind of played to different parts of their sound. But, like, uh, I remember chatting to Derek, and he was like, man, when I called on those guys, it was like, 
I, I need those harmonies. I need those trademark harmonies from those boys. They know what they're doing. That's got to be nice to be able to hop on a track like that. Yeah, it was it was a good time. I, we were happy we were able to do it. it was, they kind of caught us in like a pretty busy time where we didn't know if we were going to make it able to work time wise, but we were able to just squeak it in right in time. So it was we're glad it worked out. Good time. Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. No, it's good to see you guys on that. Well, before I let you go, a question I've been asking absolutely everybody all this weekend. I think this is a, maybe the most stacked lineup at Slam Dunk in a very, very long time. Everyone's here. It's a really, really solid lineup. If you could collaborate with anyone you've not worked with before who's here this weekend, are there any bands you would particularly love that chance to hop on a track with? DJ Fresh. <laughs> Straight in, DJ Fresh. Uh, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I caught a little bit of it last night. It was a good time. No, it's, oh, it's always a fun time. It's yeah, always I, a fun time. I've never heard of it, so it's got to be like a particularly like UK thing. It's fun time. It's but it was fun good. Time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's time luck. Gotta keep it loud. Um, who would I want to collab with? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of real, especially on the stage that we're playing. There's a lot of really cool bands. I mean, like our friends, like Fireworks and oh, right. and bands like the Menzingers and like all those bands over there. It's just. It's really cool because anytime I'm over there getting ready to play, there's just good music happening. So yeah. it's, it's nice. That's always a good vibe to me. That's always the way you want to see it. Guys, have a great rest of your weekend. We'll catch up again soon, I'm sure. All right. Good to see you guys. All right. For your strong, everybody.